All right, you guys, this is it. Very false video with my new um, DJI um, gimbal. So, uh, if you watched my review video, um, I did a quick little unboxing of it, couple um, quick little run through of the um, of the features on it, and now I'm gonna do a little Pulse unboxing. Um, if you saw my uh, buddy Poe over there was uh, checking it to make sure that they didn't have uh, the coronavirus in it, but yeah, as you guys can see, I uh, got a little bit crazy with the um, quarantine, with the quarantine pulse, uh, the little quarantine pulse wallet uh, buying, because you know there's a lot of pulse holders out there, especially for all the old school Volkswagen people. There's a handful of those dudes that just have like a garage full of old, um, a lot of um, new old stock pulse that, you know, the old pulse, the discontinued, but they were just never taken out of the package. So I uh, hit a couple of those guys up and I got them for a really good price. So hopefully um, when all this is over, uh, the <clears throat> Beatrix, my Pizza Planet truck will be something special. But uh, all right, enough talking. Let's go ahead and start digging into these boxes. Um, I'm also doing a um, Facebook Live, so if I start talking to somebody off the screen or I start aiming the boxes in a real direction, that's what I'm doing. Cool? Alright. Alright, so I know everybody wants me to open that big one on the bottom first, but let's save that one for last because I already know what's in that one. <clears throat> oh. Also, before I begin, just want to give a quick shout out to the companies featured in this video. So, big shout out to uh, Pulse Place Incorporated, New Speed, CKW2, the Usually Sideways Rally Team, and Diesel, as well as everybody that I bought the Pulse off of. Um, on Facebook. Um, I didn't have time to look up everybody's names, uh, let alone look up um, the messages I had, but I will try to look those up before I post this and I'll put it in the description below. So, yep, that's that. Now, let's start opening some packages. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the bag first. This is from the Usually Sideways Rally team. And I have a feeling, well, I don't have a feeling, I know. This is my, this is my shifter bushings. So, I'm pretty sure I've told a handful of you guys this already. If you follow me on um, Instagram, I've mentioned that I'm going to do a transmission swap on the truck. Because the truck right now is at 4 speed. I'm going to switch it over to a 5 speed, but not just any 5 speed. It's going to be the 5-speed transmission that came in the um, 1983 through 1985 um, GTIs, which is it's a close ratio 5-speed. It's actually the closest ratio the Volkswagen's ever made. So it's going to really poke up that engine, at least until, you know, it's time for me to swap it out. But, so yeah, like I was saying, it's my shift of bushings. So this here, same bushing kit. So, let's see what we have inside here. We have... So, it looks like we have some hauled plastic bushings and some delirium bushings. So, yeah, so these go into the uh, shifter bracket. Whoop. So these go into the shifter bracket. Normally, these are made out of rubble. Or pla uh, yeah, made out of rubble. Or really soft plastic. Well, these are really hard. So, what's that? Same thing with these. You go into a shifter brackets, and then this is for the um, shifter relay. So, this is what um, controls the side to side motion. So, what's that? Now, the next one. Let's open this one. This one is from. Oh, this one's from. This one's from New Speed. So, actually, 
Before I open this one, let me open. I think it's. Yeah, this one. So this one came from uh, Luke Judy, and what this one is. Yes, I'm using a screwdriver. I know some of you guys are probably gonna say in the comments use a sizzle, but I didn't have time to. While I was setting up, my uh, girlfriend started doing her online meeting, so I don't wanna disrupt her. So, but it's doing, but it's doing a job. Hey, right, so it's from Luke Judy. This is one of the polls I got off of Facebook, and it is a. Vintage new speed throttle body. So go ahead and take a look at that. You see it? Yep, there you go. New speed. So you guys can see it's a little bit walls for well, but nothing a little bit of some uh Nothing a little polish won't fix, so... Oof. This thing is really... There you go. Yeah, I had the, uh... I had the focus on lock, that's why it was... Kind of blowy. But yeah, looks like... Pretty solid piece here. Looks like everything's what should be. The... Throttle plate, looks like it's pretty... Sealed up still. Mechanism looks like it's still walking. So, yeah. Now, let me go ahead and disable that. Because right now I have it on, well, so right now I have it on follow mode. But let me go ahead and just lock it in place. So, yeah, so, if you watched the, um, the unboxing of the gimbal, it said that you can control it, um, you can control it through your phone, so that's actually what I'm doing right now, I'm controlling the, uh, settings, which, um, which, again, I'm still playing around with it, so, that's why if, uh, certain sections of this video are out of focus, that's because I had it on the, um, on the follow mode, so it was trying to follow me, Will focus on me instead of focusing on the objects so that's why i just shut that off right now and just put it on um just put it on a uh, lock so yeah that's the newer speed throttle body um in terms of size difference i believe yeah i believe it's slightly larger than the um slightly larger if not the same size as the yo thor Tho the yo uh yo throttle body um don't quote me on that if somebody wants to correct me on that down below please do again i'm learning all i can about these old school v-dubs so yeah that's the throttle body so um, also gave me the bolts and a couple of gaskets and that leads to this one which Shout out to the guys at New Speed that I hit them up and said that hey I just picked up one of your guys's um I just picked up one of your guys' old throttle bodies. But the guy said that he didn't have the adapter plate for it. Is it possible that you guys have one laying around the warehouse? Then luckily they did. So that's what is in here. ourselves a nice fresh billet plate here, some new gaskets, so 
I think when, when you go ahead and open this up, this actually looks like it's really high quality machined. Oh yeah, look at that. That is really nicely made. So that's the adapter plates. These are the gaskets. Okay, that looks cool. So nice fresh gaskets. So that looks like okay so that's the new speed throttle body and adaptive plate combo now let's open up this one which this one is from Anthony Swanson. So we have heel now. expecting that is a pipe across intake so if you have so pipe across they're kind of the um they'll be a uh, knn of yeah i guess like the the, the the knn of europe so this is one of those new old stock ports i was talking about so this is for, yeah, so this is for a, um, XE box, yeah, this is like they made in the UK. Focus, focus, focus. Made in the UK. So, yeah, it's one of those new old stock bolts I was talking about, because this is for the CIS engines, or the K-Jets, which if you have no idea what that is, go ahead, pause the video. Google it real quick. CIS K Jet or Volkswagen Continuous Injection System. So, one of the issues with that intake system is you have your L box, the little uh, um, fuel fuel mixture plates that's on top of it, which is a good system. I mean, the one I have works pretty well. So yeah, so it looks like this. So you have your um, injectors, fuel pressure regulator, this is where the L mixture is, and it sits on top of your L box. Which, the problem with that is the only performance option you have is to put in a panel filter or cheese box the um, bottom of it. Um, I've also seen on some Volvos they have like an actual like cone for it, but those are really hard to find. So, that's where this comes in, so a little pipe across stickle hill to so if I should ever bring it to a dealership or something to get the oil changed, just to tell them don't throw this thing away. Got some, got some gaskets here. Got another stickle, which I already know some of you guys are gonna say something. <laughs> I'm gonna stick those underneath the hood. I'm trying to keep I'm trying to keep the stickles on the outside to a minimum. Okay, I didn't say I was gonna put I wasn't gonna put any, as you guys already know. I put a handful of them on the way. But yeah, so here it is. The Piper Cross 
intake box, which I'm kind of looking at this and it's kind of wilting me out because, oh no, okay. So, so see nice foam, nice foam outer. So you got a nice foam outer, uh, nice foam inside. Then this is the part that was wilting me out. Like why is there a <laughs> bolt going through it? But it's, yeah, it looks like it's sealed, so. So let me go ahead and take this thing apart really quick. Yeah, so see those, those are whole, but it's, it's filled in. So this is gonna sit on the inside of the engine, and then I essentially have a, yeah, and this is essentially a short ram for the 8 valve 1.8, 1.8, um, the, um, the CIS injection engine, the 8 valves, which I think you can also use this on the 16 valves. Again, don't quote me on that, but I'm just saying it's a uh, short ram for the CIS systems. Cool. Sorry. <laughs> Got a little freaked out that I petted him. So in case you guys are wondering, no, this is not my cat. Well, cat sitting him for a friend of ours. His name is Poe. And yes, he's an asshole at times. As you can see. But, yeah. Let's continue. So now let's go ahead and open this up. This is from CKW2. And then I think these are my um, hood risals. Because I needed a new set of them because my, in my brilliance, when I was walking on the truck one day, when I was cleaning up the, uh, when I was cleaning all the grease and dirt and stuff out of it, and I was cleaning all the spark plug wires, I forgot to reattach one of them. So, as I was driving it, it started misfiring. Which, as soon as I opened up the hood, I saw, oh, I forgot to connect one of the um, spark plug boots. So, reconnected it, started driving, completely didn't realize that I didn't shut the hood all the way. So I reattached the spark plugs, started it up, I mean, uh, reattached that one boot, started it up, all right, cool, it's fine. Started driving, as soon as I hit the freeway, hood flew up. Luckily, it didn't bust the windshield, but it did bend, um, but it did bend one of the hood risers. So those of you guys that have seen the truck in Paulson and have seen me pop the hood on it, you've noticed that the hood sits kind of crooked, that's why. Cause only one of the hood risers was on it. So that's what this is. But yeah, I could have gotten an OEM one, but I opted for these just because this was an alternative. Uh, this is gonna be an uh, this was an alternative to um, buying the uh, hood scoop because they make a. Um, well, I mean, okay, Volkswagen didn't make it, but um, I'm trying to remember what the company was. Um, I think it was a uh, Plas Plastamel like Meta Plastic or something like that, and Kai Mei, they made hood scoops for the old Volkswagens, which, you know, again, I thought about getting those, but I wasn't really a fan of how they looked. Um, so that's why I got new hood risers, because these are extended ones. So these are gonna give that, so these are gonna give that um, little uh, little pop at the back of the hood. All the, um, uh, or the look that's really popular with a lot of Hondas, which I'm pretty sure it's. Yeah, I'm pretty sure other. I mean, I'm not saying it's exclusive to Hondas. No hate on Hondas. I almost had six of them, but it's you know it's a popular modification on Hondas. So, and here it is. So this is what holds up the hood on the classic Volkswagens. This bolts into a. Uh, this uh, clips into a little uh, socket on the inside of the fender, and then this is where the hood sits. So as it goes down, it should lift this part of the hood up and also lift it up higher. 
because that's another small issue with the classic Volkswagens is that the hood doesn't really lift up all that high or if it does it's really slanted so hopefully this will make it more straight up so I have more space to walk on it so it's one here's the other looks exactly the same so now let's get to some of those big boxes so let's open up this one, which pretty sure some of you guys can guess what's in here already. But this one came from D Sport, which they were having a garage sale because with everything that's going on, I'm pretty sure that a handful of the staff, much like everybody else, is not in the office. So they decided to unload a lot of the um, ports that they have from doing reviews. Which, if you guys are unaware of what D Sport is, D Sport is a um, tuna magazine. Well, they started off as Drag Sport, um, really focusing a lot on, on how to do uh, tuning for drag racing. So then they slowly became. Um, then it slowly became default, which is just tech in general. So in terms of, um, so I really like, so I really like default because, like I said, it's the more, um, more technical side of, um, yeah. So it's the more technical side of it, and opposed to the uh, display side that's featured in like other magazines like Apple Tuna, Super Street. You know, not to say that those magazines aren't good. You know, I grew up reading all of them, but I'm just saying that you know. Especially now that I'm trying to learn how to do this stuff, D Sport's been really helpful. So shout out to those guys. So I already know what this is, but I just want to kind of have you guys in suspense. So aim this down a little bit. You guys already see that. The locks. So, it's not obvious what's in here. Wow, I almost opened it. The wrong direction. It's a test pipe. Not, but not just any test pipe. This test pipe is expandable or it's detachable in this case so this is actually for a i believe they said it was for a 2012 through 2015 civic but oddly enough this is actually a, um the flanges are actually a similar size to what i have on the truck so instead of gutting the cat like I initially planned to do, I decided, eh, you know, why not put a uh, why not put a fat test pipe on it? Which and which this is a, I believe it's a two and a half. It looks like I don't know if you can actually tell how big it is just from the video, but yeah, I think this is a two and a half inch one. Um, like I said, it's uh, it's extendable, so. Um, depending on what length you need it at, it's easily manipulated. So you guys can see here, I mean, kind of have, have to massage it a little bit and grease it so it'll slide in, but you can either have it like so, where it's just short, or you can use the little adapter pipe peel to extend it to whatever length you need. So, does that. So considering this was actually on a Civic for a good while, you know. <laughs> How was your meeting? It was, you know, best you can do with uh, ninth graders asking you questions about an essay. Yep. Isn't she the cutest high school teacher of all you guys? <laughs> You guys, 
Uh, I love hole. So anyway, yeah, that's the test pipe. Looks pretty good considering that it was on one of the testing calls. But yeah, so I'm gonna try to get this on the truck. Um, if not, if it doesn't end up walking, uh, keep an eye out on Facebook Marketplace on my Instagram. I might be selling. Okay, so 2015 or 2012, or I'm pretty sure you can put this on any call. It's a test pipe. But yeah, so Belox two and a half inch test pipe, extended, extendable test pipe. So if this doesn't end up walking on the truck, I might hook somebody up with one of these. Okay. Might sell it, might give it away, I don't know. It all depends. It all depends on you guys. So if enough enough people want me to give it away, I'll give it away. If somebody wants to offer me something for it, I'll take that as well. You know, Trump hasn't exactly given me my stimulus check yet. So, that leads us to the final box, which... Speaking of the stimulus check, that is going to go into the swap, which that's what should be in here, is everything that I should need to do the transmission swap. So. With any luck, so hopefully, um, not hopefully, that's what I ordered, but there should be a, should be a clutch and flywheel in here, should be wheel bearings, axles, um, new show, um, new, uh, what's it, not shifter bussings, because that's what was in there, um, shifter plate, uh, shifter, um, shifter, Shift on bracket. Hey, that's all I'm looking for. So. so yeah. Shout out to Pulse Place for Volkswagens. Has all your classic Volkswagen needs. Also, they're pretty good with um, some of the newer Volkswagens. I ordered a couple Pulse for the Jetta on there. But yeah. They specialize in the classic VWs, especially diesels. So those of you guys that have a diesel Volkswagen um, or an l cold Volkswagen, they'll really, they have a lot of parts for Beatles as well. So, let's go ahead and open the bad boy up. So, ooh, like I said, here is the clutch. It is a 2000, 2000, sorry, 210 millimeter clutch for the 8 valve cabriolets, gas engines with a small shaft. Also fits the MK3s and some of the 16 valves. So we'll go ahead and pop this tape. So we have our clutch plate here, nice clean splung organic disc, we have our release plate, we have the, the clutch alignal, and with that we have Special plate. Oh, made by Shex. And then all of the mounting hole rail. Here we have the axles, I believe 
this is the I believe this is the outer one. So this is nice and fresh, nice CV boots, which the truck desperately needs because the CV boots that are on it right now are blown to hell. So, yep. So, um, I believe these are the 90 millimeter ones. The new old 90 millimeter ones, apparently those two different ones. And then we got some grease. So nice, 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 nice. So What do you guys think? You guys think I should do some more, uh, some more unboxings, some more call-related content on this channel? I know the last, what was it, last three, last three videos, last two videos I did were call-related, so... Or would you like more featured girlfriend content? Time. That can be arranged also. Let's take a look at the other Axel. No, this is the uh, timing, uh, timing hole plug. So the uh, timing hole slash inspection plug, which the truck also doesn't have. So those, uh, so that's another one of the reasons why I wanna um, redo the trans on the truck because the previous owner did not put this into the transmission. So there is a shit ton of dirt and water in there. Which is something I suggest to everybody, which, yeah, call, I probably should have had you give that thing a, yeah, probably should have had you give that thing a once over before I bought it, but, yeah, I highly suggest you guys bring somebody, um, yeah, bring somebody with you when you go to look at a call, especially a mechanic, especially somebody that knows the ins and outs of that call and all the things that can normally go along with it. Um, I've gone with a couple people when they've gone to look at some Volkswagen, um, some uh, fourth generation Volkswagen since obviously I own one so I know, you know, the common things that blow up on those things. But, yeah, so, which again, you know, I was so excited to buy the truck that I didn't really think about that stuff, but it's fine because it's giving me an excuse to refresh it even more now, which I'm pretty sure the previous owner was kicking himself for selling it to me. Which, if you guys want a full breakdown of the history of that truck, or breakdown of what I've done to it so far, um, comment down below, and I will get on to that. Oh, so this is the... I'm guessing this is the in... in all one. Oh, so again, we have another little... Little uh, grease pack hill. And this one, oh, this one's actually wrapped up really tight. So I'm actually not gonna take this one out. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and pop this one too. So. So, hang on real quick, let me go get a knife. She's done doing whatever what she was doing. Hey, I was about to use one of those steak knives and she's like, oh no the hell you're not. So, 
Yeah, I think this is the um, the outer one because it has the uh, bolts for the for the uh, has the bolts for the 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 the, 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 um, the uh, which hands. Again, nice and fresh looking. Fresh boots, nice and clean. Nice high quality workmanship on that. Hold wheel, nice clean spline. Nice clean bangs. So. The small stuff. So here we have the. Yep. So here we have the expansion tank cap. So that's just the bowl, uh, the cover, uh, the fill all, the fill all cap. Got some uh, wheel bearings and some bush, some more bushings here. So here we got. Oh, so yeah, so here we have the uh, push rod seal. And I'm not gonna take these out because I already know I'm gonna lose them since they're small. But this is the, the push rod seal, the main shaft seals in this one. Got some uh, shift for bushing right here, nice uh, brass, brass shift for bushing. Which these tend to wear out. Actually, wait, no, not shift the bushing. Um, clutch, clutch rod bushing. Oh, another one here. The real main, real main seal. Small bolts, and then, yep. And here we have the wheel bearings, and then these ones are for the front. Just because I think I have one of these. So I have a, this is actually an extra. This is actually an extra one because I already have one. But the yeah, I already have one of these. But it the box is all um the box is all beat up. So this is just in case it ends up not being usable. No wheel bearing. Yeah, that looks like it is it. So whoa, sorry about that. So yeah, that looks like it's it, you guys. Um, that was my <laughs> quarantine uh, Paul's haul. In addition to a little short, um, little short <laughs> demo of the uh, new um, gizmo. So the video cut out right when I finished, you guys, because the camera overheated. So that's um, another little quick uh, little tidbit on this camera. Um, it does overheat a little bit, so that's why it uh, shut itself off. But um, I was filming for about an hour right there, so as long as you don't film that long, I don't think it'll be that big of a deal. Um, supposedly the battery life on this is about two and a half hours at 4K. Um, I'm using 1080p, so... Yeah, right, so uh, like I said, that was pretty much the end of the video anyway. If you guys liked that unboxing, if you guys would like me to do some more, 
please comment down below if you guys um, have any other video suggestions. Like, again, I'm still um, teaching. Um, i just not at the gym right now, but I am doing online classes on Zoom, as well as the Jiminy Kids Live Instagram, so please feel free to look that, that up. Uh, other than that, I will see you guys in the next video, and peace out.